Dear all, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will go through set of interview questions related to Azure networking, which would be useful if you're preparing for Azure admin or Azure network admin role. So let's begin. First one, what is Azure Virtual Network VNet and what are its key features? Response. Azure Virtual Network VNet is a fundamental networking component in Azure that allows users to create isolated, logically separated networks in the cloud. Key Features Isolation and Segmentation VNets provide isolation from other Azure VNets. Subnetting Enables the division of the VNet into smaller subnets. Custom IP Addressing Users can define private IP address ranges IPv4 slash IPv6. Secure connectivity supports VPNs and Express Route for hybrid connectivity. Network security groups and SGs allow or deny traffic to and from resources. VNet peering connects VNets within the same or different regions. Moving to next question. What is VNet peering and how does it differ from VPN gateway? Response could be VNet peering connects two Azure VNets enabling resources to communicate as if they are on the same network. Traffic is routed internally within Azure's backbone network. VPN Gateway connects on-premises networks or Azure VNets using encrypted tunnels over the public internet. Differences Performance VNet peering offers low latency, high bandwidth connectivity, while VPN gateways depend on internet speeds. Security VNet peering uses Azure's backbone while VPN Gateway relies on IPsec encryption over public internet. Moving on, what are network security groups and SGs? Response NSGs are security rules that control inbound and outbound traffic to Azure resources at the network interface, subnet, or VNet level. Components of an NSG rule Priority Determines rule order lower number equal higher priority. Source slash destination Specifies the traffic origin slash destination. Protocol. Defines the protocol TCP slash UDP slash NA. Port range. Specifies the ports e.g. 80, 443. Action. Allow or deny. Use case. Block all traffic to a subnet except traffic on ports 80 HTTP and 443 HTTPS. Next question. What is Azure Load Balancer and what are its types? Response Azure Load Balancer distributes inbound traffic among resources in a VNet to ensure high availability. Types Public Load Balancer Routes traffic from the Internet to Azure Resources, e.g., VMs. Internal Load Balancer Routes traffic within a private network, such as between VMs. Features Health probes to monitor resource availability. Layer 4 TCP slash UDP load balancing. Moving on to next one. What is Azure Application Gateway and how does it differ from Load Balancer? Possible response. Azure Application Gateway is a web traffic load balancer operating at Layer 7 application layer. It is used for routing HTTP slash HTTPS traffic. Key features. SSL offloading. URL-based routing. Web Application Firewall WAF for security. Differences from Load Balancer Load Balancer operates at layer 4 TCP slash UDP and is protocol agnostic. Application Gateway provides application-specific routing and security features. Moving on. What is Azure Traffic Manager and how does it work? Response Azure Traffic Manager is a DNS-based traffic routing service that distributes incoming requests to different endpoints based on traffic routing methods. Key Features Geographic routing for directing users to specific regions. Performance routing for directing traffic to the nearest endpoint. Failover to redirect traffic during downtime. Use case. Distribute traffic among multiple Azure regions for a globally distributed application. Next one. What is Azure Express Route and when should it be used? Response. Azure Express Route provides a private, dedicated connection between an on-premises environment and Azure, bypassing the public internet. Features High reliability, low latency, and better security. Supports hybrid cloud scenarios and large-scale data migrations. Use case 
suitable for organizations with strict compliance requirements or those needing consistent performance. How do you secure communication in Azure VNet? Use NSGs to control inbound and outbound traffic. Enable Azure Firewall for centralized traffic filtering. Use service endpoints to secure Azure Pass services. Implement private endpoints to connect securely to Azure services using private IPs. Use VPN Gateway or Express Route for secure hybrid connections. Moving on. What are service endpoints and private endpoints? Service endpoints. Extend of net to Azure services, e.g., Azure Storage over Azure's backbone network. Traffic to the service remains secure, but the service is still public. Private endpoints. Assign a private IP address to Azure services, making them accessible only within the VNet. Fully isolate services from public internet access. Difference. Private endpoints offer greater security as the service is completely isolated from the public internet. Moving forward. What is Azure DNS and how does it work? Response could be. Azure DNS is a service for hosting and managing DNS domains in Azure. Key features. Manage DNS records like a name, mix, txt, etc. Integrates with Azure Traffic Routing Services like Traffic Manager. Provides high availability and fast resolution times. Use Case Host DNS zones for applications deployed in Azure. Next one What is Azure Bastion and why is it used? Response Azure Bastion provides secure RDP and SSH access to VMs over the Azure portal without exposing public IP addresses. Benefits Reduces attack surface by eliminating direct public IP access. Simplifies remote management by avoiding VPN configurations. Next, how does Azure Firewall differ from NSGs? Response, Azure Firewall, a fully managed, stateful network security service. Can filter layer 3, 4, and 7 traffic. Offers centralized logging, threat intelligence, and policy management. NSG. A basic, stateful layer 3 fourths filtering tool for controlling traffic within OVNET. Key difference Azure Firewall provides more advanced features like application filtering and threat intelligence, whereas NSGs are simpler and focus on access control. Moving on, what are Azure Network Watcher and its features? Response Azure Network Watcher provides monitoring and diagnostics for Azure networking resources. Key features Packet Capture Captures network traffic for debugging Connection troubleshooting Checks connectivity between resources Topology View Visualizes the network structure NSG Flow Logs Monitors traffic flowing through NSGs Use Case Debugging and optimizing Azure networking configurations Next question What is just-in-time JIT access in Azure? Possible Response JIT access restricts access to VMs by allowing temporary access to management ports e.g. RDP, SSH for a specified duration. Benefits Minimizes exposure to potential threats. Logs and audits all access requests. Moving forward, how do you monitor and troubleshoot Azure networking issues? Response Tools Use Azure Monitor for performance metrics and diagnostics. Use Network Watcher for topology visualization and packet captures. Use Traffic Analytics for identifying potential threats and optimizing traffic flow. Process. Analyze logs from NSGs, VPN gateways, and Azure Firewall to pinpoint issues. Thank you for watching. See you again on another video.